Welcome to another video. The easiest content automation channels that you guys can replicate. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys these quiz channels that pump out videos every single day like a well oiled machine. All of these quiz channels follow the exact same content strategy where they'll show an image or a sound effect and give the viewer around 10 seconds to guess what that image or sound effect is. After 10 seconds is over, the answer is gonna pop up on the screen and then a new question is asked and the process keeps on repeating. You may be wondering, why would anyone watch this type of video? I would never watch this type of content. It's actually because these videos are directed for a very young audience as well as non-native English speakers. That kind of makes sense if you think of the stuff you used to watch when you were a little kid. This content is very appealing to young children and it's surprisingly pretty profitable. Now, although these videos get very few comments because of the very young demographic who probably don't even know how to comment on videos, that doesn't mean these videos don't get millions upon millions of views. Just looking at the examples I'm about to show you guys. So here are three examples of different quiz channels I just pulled up really quickly. We have the quiz show of over 300,000 subscribers. You just go to most popular videos. You see how many views these channels are actually pulling in with their quiz videos. We go to the quiz channel here. Same thing, 5 million views, 4 million views, 4 million views, 3.8 million views. Quiz Blitz, same thing. These are just three channels I found at the top of the list, but there's so many other quiz channels doing very similar ideas with slightly different takes, which is where you guys have to take your inspiration from these channels and then add your own little twist that's gonna make it unique. We go over to Social Blade on the quiz show. You can see that they're earning anywhere from 10,000 to $168,000 a year. Now do keep in mind, Social Blade estimations are pretty wonky and they're almost never accurate, but it does give you a good idea on just how much money you guys truly can rake in with these quiz channels. Now in today's tutorial, we're gonna be doing short forms. So you'll probably be making slightly less with short form videos but it's a lot easier to reach a brand new audience with those short form content. My favorite thing about this style of content is that it's so easy to replicate, create, edit, and you could potentially pump out like 10 of these videos in one day. So that's why I'm gonna break it down in three easy steps in today's video to show you guys how you can make the exact same style of content and start raking in some of that moolah. So step one, we'll generate the AI scripts. In step two, we're gonna generate text to speech sound bites, and then in step three, we're going to edit everything together to be able to post on YouTube Shorts or TikTok. Let's get started. Alrighty, so for today's video, I'm going to be replicating this style of video right here, the Guess the Mario Characters by Their Voice Challenge. Basically, it plays the soundbite and then it gives them five seconds or so to guess which character it was on screen. So we're going to be doing the same thing, but in short form content. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give us 15 different lines something along the line of can you guess whose voice this is let me know and then I made it important that an eight-year-old needs to understand because we need to keep our niche audience in mind of younger children for this style of content so now we have 15 different variations of can you guess whose voice this is and this is perfect leading us into step number two so the next step is going to be grabbing our sound bites for the video using the dubbed voices of different celebrities you can use a plethora of different websites but today we're going to be running with 11 labs as it's probably the most common and one you've already heard of and the good thing about 11 labs in this use case is because our soundbite is so short we only have a few characters as you guys can see in this sentence right here when we paste it over in 11 labs you can see it's barely using any characters so we should be able to generate all the sound bites completely for free so in order to get our sound bites we need to clone the voice of the popular celebrity or or influencer. So I'm going to find a few different clips on YouTube of different celebrities that we want to run with. And then I'm going to use a YouTube to MP3 converter to download it to my computer. And from there, I can select on the add clone voice. And then we're going to go to instant voice cloning. And here is where I'm going to upload those files. Alrighty. So I just added in two different sound bites I found on YouTube. Keep in mind, it's recommended that you provide more than five minutes of audio to get the best Best quality sound and I probably provided about a minute of audio so I'm not expecting this sound bite to sound amazing but this is just for tutorial purposes additionally when it asked for the description of the voice all I did is went to ChatGPT and asked ChatGPT can you describe Mickey Mouse's voice
place for me. Then I copied and pasted that in here. And we are just going to confirm that we have the rights to upload and clone these voices. And we're going to add the voice of Mickey Mouse. Now you can see Mickey Mouse has been added to our clone voices. And we can just go ahead and copy one of the lines that were generated for us and go back over to 11 Labs, hit use. And then we just can paste that line in. And you can adjust the voice settings here. I kind of want to make my Mickey Mouse voice super exaggerated. So I really want it to sound like high pitched like Mickey Mouse. I wouldn't go anywhere over 50% because as you can see, it states it's unstable now. So we're going to leave it at around 25%. I think I'm fine with the other settings of the clarity and stability. And now we're just going to hit generate here and let me know how this sounds. Who you think speaking now? Tell me. So I'd say that sounds pretty good, especially considering I only use one minute of audio. Imagine if you use like 30 minutes of audio or an hour of audio, you'd get a really realistic sound bite. So it all depends on how much time you want to put into cloning your sound bites. So the last thing we have to do is just download that audio and we are prepared to go on to the next step. Alrighty, so the program I'm going to be using is called Veed, and it's an online video editor that is really easy to use. However, if you guys like editing videos in your own programs, that's completely up to you. We'll just be using Veed, which will also be linked down below. So I'm going to change the sizing to a short size so it's nice and vertical. And then we're just going to add in our most important part of our video, which is the sound bites. Already, so we have our four sound bites here, and I'm going to upload every single one. And now I'm just going to replicate everything that Quiz Blitz has on their screen into my own program. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be back in a couple minutes. Already, so I just spent about 10 minutes ish making this video that you see on the timeline right here. I know it kind of looks chaotic, but the template is way simpler than you think. And once you have this template created, all it is is plugging in different images. So I'll go to this image and then I just hit replace image and upload new images. So once you have the template down pat, you can pump out these videos like a hundred in a day. I swear it is so easy, but I'm just going to play it out and then I'll show you all the elements. So here's the timeline. I'm going to drag the timeline down so we can just see the video and let's let this thing play. Leave a like on the video and try to find out whose voice this is this one is tough whose words are these can you tell Alrighty, so that was the full 30 second short. It's a really simple concept idea. And you may be wondering like who is really watching this? It is the younger demographic. I'm telling you this video doesn't appeal to people like me or probably you watching this video, but to the younger demographic, they will eat this style of content up. And for those wondering how I edited this video, I just added all the images onto the timeline. And then we have the soundbite, which we got from Top Medi AI. And I imported that soundbite in. I let the soundbite play play out and then this is the timer that you guys can see on screen right here once the timer's off you get that pop sound effect and it pops in the correct answer and then i put a check mark on the box that was the answer and that's really it it's such a simple concept to edit and we can pump out 20 more of these today if we really wanted to but yeah if you have any questions leave them in the comment section subscribe for more videos like this and have yourselves a fantastic day